In this video, we will look at precipitation data instead of temperature data. For this, we will continue to work with our previous script. We will again copy the script and rename it in the left pane. We have to make some changes to the script. The first and most important one is to add the total precipitation as a variable. You can put the total precipitation in the drop-down menu or alternatively you can add it directly here in the data, data retrieval. Some other changes are necessary. Because we are now looking at the precipitation data, it is very important to include all hours in the time part of the data retrieval. In this way, you catch all rainfall events during the day. We want to look at monthly precipitation rate to see how many months Carlos has to irrigate. Therefore, we will change the daily mean function to a monthly mean function. Before we do that, we want to take a closer look at the function. When you look at a function, you always see a part before the is equal sign and a part after the is equal sign. The part before the is equal sign is a name that you define yourself. In this case, we have defined data daily, but it could just as well have been Donald Duck. As long as you use the same name later on if you want to use the data that you've stored again. It is very important that this name does not contain any spaces, therefore we usually use an underscore. On the other side of the is equal sign is the calculation or function of data that you store in this predefined name. You can see that the function consists of several elements. The first part, CT, refers to the toolbox of the climate data store. This is the same as the name that we have defined when we imported the CDS toolbox. The second part, climate, refers to the category in which the function is placed in the climate data store toolbox. The third part, is the actual name of the function. In this case, daily mean, to calculate the daily mean. You can find all the functions and their categories in the documentation, in the left pane of your environment. For example, if we go to the category climate, you can find the daily mean. If you click on there, you find the background information of the function and also how to call the function. So CDS toolbox, in our case that is CT dot climate dot daily mean. Something similar you can for example see if you go to chart and then line which we use to plot our line, line function. Now we go back to our objective. We want to plot a monthly mean of precipitation. Because we want to keep it clear, we change data daily to data monthly. But like I said, you can choose whichever name you want. Because I know that the monthly mean is in the same category and the name of month the monthly mean function is just monthly mean, which you can look at in the documentation. These changes will be enough to calculate the monthly mean. Now to uh, plot these data into the line chart, we have to also change this to our data monthly. 
Now we are ready to plot our data for all the months of all the years between 2008 and 2017. But actually, we are only interested in the data for 2010 and 2015. So to reduce calculation time and to have a bit of a better overview of those two years, we can actually add an extra drop-down menu with 2010 and 2015. Now if we add an extra drop-down menu, it also means that we have to add a variable here. And it means that here we have to remove all the years and write year from our drop-down menu. If we now run the, uh, this script, we see an extra drop-down menu here, where we can choose from 2010 and 2015.